In Lesson 5.1, you saw that descriptions of methods and arguments appear in the IntelliSense menu. You can add these descriptions to your own classes by using XML summaries. You'll create some of these in this lesson. To begin, open the My Project sample file from your Sample Files folder. and open calculatorfunctions.cs. We are now going to examine a summary from the .NET library. To do this, add a new line to any one of the event handlers, and type math.round. This causes the IntelliSense menu to appear, and you can see the description of the math.round method is rounds a decimal value to a specified number of fractional digits. Now type an opening bracket. This causes the IntelliSense menu to change to show the description of the method's arguments. If it doesn't, Simply delete what you've typed, and retype math.round begin brackets. As you can see, the method has a decimal argument called d, which has the description, a decimal number to be rounded. You can use the black arrows, or the arrow keys on your keyboard, to see the different groups of arguments that the method is able to process. Now delete what you've typed. Next, we are going to add an XML summary to the round number method. To do this, add a new line before the round number method and type three forward slashes. As soon as you type the last forward slash, the framework for an XML summary is automatically created. Next, we are going to add a description to the method. To do this, type the following on the blank line between the summary tags rounds a number to two decimal places. Now add a new line to the add method and type round number. The IntelliSense menu appears and you can see that your method now has a description just like the ones from the .NET library. Remove what you just typed now. Next, we're going to add a description for the number argument of the round number method. To do this, add the following inside the param tags in the summary. Number to be rounded. Now test this by once again adding a new line to the add method and typing round number begin brackets. As you can see, the number argument is now described at the bottom of the summary. Remove what you just typed again. By using summaries, you can make your code even easier for other developers to use and maintain. They are extremely useful when working in a team environment. Note that summaries aren't always necessary. Event handlers on your pages don't often need summaries, since it is usually already clear what they do. 
it is good practice to add summaries to every new class you create and use your best judgment when working on classes that were automatically created by Visual Studio. Note that you didn't populate the returns tag in this lesson, but you probably guessed that it is used to describe the value that the method returns. The returns description isn't visible in the IntelliSense menu, so it would only be visible to someone looking at the code itself. The returns tag is also read by Visual Studio's automatic documentation tool. Summaries aren't just useful for making your code easier to read. Visual Studio can use them to automatically create documentation for your code. You can learn about automatic documentation in the Expert Skills course in this series. Close Visual Studio now, saving your changes if prompted. You've now completed Lesson 7-8 Use Summaries.